<laughs> now, <laughs> President Trump gave an interview yesterday to ABC News. I don't know if you saw it, but in that interview, he was asked if he has fulfilled his election promise of being truthful. And he responded by saying, quote, when I can, I tell the truth. <laughs> It's good to have goals. That's, the, <laughs> that's what you want in a president. The truth, the half-truth, and nothing but the sort of truth. <laughs> when I can... He was asked about being honest with the American people, not swinging by the office kitchen to vote for best Halloween costume. <laughs> but in other Trump news, yesterday, Donald Jr. and his girlfriend, Kimberly Guilfoyle, posted a tweet encouraging their followers to get out and vote in seven days. But here's the thing. When they posted the video, the election was actually six days away. <laughs> so you heard them, Trump supporters. You get out there and vote November 7th. <laughs> and not a day before. <laughs> Donald Jr. doesn't even know what day the election is. And remember, between him and Eric, he's the smart one. <laughs> Moving on, authorities in North Carolina were recently on high alert after being told of a suspicious package that had been mailed to an office building. But later, after evacuating the whole building, police realised that the package was just, get this, an audio cassette by the band Journey. <laughs> now, I'm sorry, it's 2018. I do think a Journey cassette tape is pretty suspicious. <laughs> Police haven't confirmed who sent the package, but they're on the lookout for a small-town girl living in a lonely world. <laughs> now... <laughs> now, I know we have a young audience who watches this show, so you might be confused. So, for those of you who don't know... <laughs> a cassette tape <laughs> is... How do you... Uh, it's an actual thing. <laughs> that you can you can hold in your hand. It's like if, imagine imagine you had like physical music you could hold on to, <laughs> and that was that was your possession. It belongs to you. It physically exists, right? But then you've got to put it in another thing. So you need two actual things. <laughs> to, um, this thing. You've got this. That's yours. You've got another thing. Imagine that a thing. And this thing needs a plug. And a plug is... <laughs> you know the thing on the end of your charger? The th you know you've got your charger, the thing on the end of the charger, so there's a... We don't have time to explain this. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm saying is, does anyone want to see Journey with me at the forum this weekend? Yes! I'm trying to say. I'm getting to. Do <laughs> match. I'm saying this, I don't even know if Journey are playing at the forum. <laughs> I, quite like, I quite like to imagine some a member of Journey watching this going, wait, what? We're wet? <laughs> uh, now, <laughs> as you know, last night was Halloween. Uh, a lot of celebrities got in on the action. We thought we'd show you a few of our favourite costumes. Here's supermodel Heidi Klum and her boyfriend. They went as Fiona and Shrek. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Only hot people can go as Fiona and Shrek. <laughs> If I went to Shrek, people would be like, I think you've got something green on your face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're laughing because it's true. <laughs> uh, the internet loved this one. Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster went trick-or-treating in his actual full uniform. Right, look, here he is here. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, and here's Jessica Biel and Justin Timberlake here going as Lego Batman characters. Look at that. That's great. <laughs> Although that can be dangerous. It can be dangerous going as Lego. There's a serious risk of getting lost under the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's a, that's a bad joke. <laughs> it's a bad joke. We had other ones. <laughs> so try one of the other ones. Try one of the other ones. <laughs> They're all bad. Don't clap. They're all bad. <laughs> They're all average. <laughs> it's dangerous to go as Lego. You don't want to tread on that in the middle of the night. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.
you. Thanks very much. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night, folks. <laughs> Here's another one. Uh, <laughs> Camilla Mendez and Lily Reinhardt dressed up as Napoleon and Pedro from the 2004 movie Napoleon Dynamite. Here they are here. Now, the, in <laughs> the internet had two different reactions to this. Younger people were like, Camilla Mendez and Lily Reinhardt dressed up as who? <laughs> and then older people were like, who dressed up as Napoleon and Pedro? <laughs> what? I don't understand. I don't know. 